السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear grade 5 students Hello again I am Ahmed Al-Farahati and I wish you all the best of everything Today inshallah we will study unit 5 technology lesson 3 Please open your skills book to page 44 this page what are the aims of this lesson let's check unit 5 technology lesson 3 skills book page 44 let's look at grammar class book pages 52 and 53 activities 1 2 3 4 and 5 the aims in this lesson students will understand and use the future tense with will and want discuss what life after 100 years will be like do activities related to will and want ask and answer questions with a partner Let's go to page 44 of your skills book and look at this part. Let's look at grammar. Unit 5 Grammar. Let's look at grammar. The future with will. Dear students, in this lesson we will study the future with will. And this is a new lesson. But it is so easy. Look here. We use will plus a verb in the infinitive case in order to predict what will happen or what we think will happen in the future. So this is the use of the tense. We use the future with will to predict what will happen or what we think will happen in the future. This is only one use and you can use it to promise, to threat and so on. And you will study this later. So, the form is will plus a verb in the infinitive case. The use is to predict what will happen or what we think will happen in the future. Let's look at these examples. People will travel to other planets. Look here, we have will plus the verb travel in the infinitive case. People will travel to other planets. And the meaning of this sentence is to show our prediction we predict that this sentence is not true is not 100 percent true it is only a prediction and also here it will be sunny tomorrow yeah it will be sunny or it won't be sunny i am not sure okay but this is only prediction to predict something that will not happen we use will not or want look at the examples here in the future children will not go to school this is the prediction this is the writer's prediction and we can use the short form want in the future children want to go to school my uncle will not visit london next year and we can use the short form want to visit okay you understand that so again we use the future with will to predict okay and we can form it using will plus the verb in the infinitive case it's so simple so easy let's look at these tables in the affirmative case we can use the subject or the pronoun like here I, he, she, it, we, you, they. Then, will, or the short form, apostrophe LL. And we can pronounce it, I'll, he'll, she'll, it, will, you'll, they'll. Plus a verb in the infinitive case. And in the negative case, will not or want. I will not help, he will not help she wants help it wants help 
we want help you want help they want help and in the interrogative case if we are going to make a question we start with will will i will he will she will it will we will you will they plus the verb in the infinitive case will i arrive early and if you are going to answer these questions you use yes or no plus the subject then you can use will or want yes will he arrive early yes he will no he won't will she arrive early yes she will no she won't we can also make questions with will and wh question words let's read these examples where will people live what will you do how will she go to school you understand that yes take care here the short form of will is apostrophe ll and you can pronounce it i'll he'll she'll it will you'll will the short form of will not is want okay now let's go to page 52 of your class book in order to study more about this tense the future with will yes here unit 5 grammar activity 1 read think and speak read the sentences talk about them with your group what will life be like in 100 years what do you think so here you are asked to give opinions to predict what will happen in 100 years let's read the sentences yes there will be flying cars people will have holidays in space people want to work in offices schools will have more technology cars will talk to each other people won't use paper only computers robots will do everything for us robots will teach some lessons all these sentences are examples of prediction okay some useful language do you agree yes i agree no i don't agree yes that's right i think you can use this in order to talk about these sentences with your group or with your friends you can ask them do you agree there will be flying cars if they agree they can say yes we agree or yes i agree yes that's right no i don't agree or they can say i think plus their own prediction let's practice that do you agree schools will have more technology the one who agrees can say yes i agree or yes that's right and the one who doesn't agree can say no i don't agree and if he has another prediction he can say i think for example here i think school won't have more technology you understand that let's look at activity two read and find write the verbs from activity one into the correct column will and want and you are asked to write the verbs here okay i will give you an example look here will have i will write will have and here won't work yes so take your time to do the task then come back to check your answers hello again i write the verb is here in order to check your answers yes we have will be will have will took and will do and here we have want work and want use thank you 
let's go to activity three read and find read the text below find the verbs in the future tense add them to the columns in activity two report life in 100 years and your report describes what life might be like in 100 years life in 100 years will be very different from today people will live in a very different way there will be tall towers everywhere but there won't be enough room for everyone to live on land so many people will live in cities under the sea people will travel in space to find new wallets they will have holidays in space too people won't work in offices they will have meetings online at home children want to go to school they want to have teachers they will learn things on their computers at home they won't use pens and pencils or paper visiting the doctor will be faster because people want to go to the hospital they will talk to doctors online you are asked here to find the verbs in the future tense yes will plus a verb in the infinitive case or want to plus a verb in the infinitive case like these will live will be will be will live will have will have want to go will learn want to have want to use will be want to go will talk and you are asked to add them to the columns in activity 2 to write them here take your time to do that then come back to check your answers hello again i'll add the verbs in the future tense to the columns in activity 2 and i write them even if they are repeated yes we have will be will live will be will live will travel will have will have will learn and will took and here we have want be want work want go want to have and want visit thank you let's go to activity four read think and speak read each sentence and circle the correct option yes a in 100 years people's lives will or won't be the same as now and here this is b not d b and this is c b all or some cities will be under the sea c people will have meetings online or in offices d children will learn at home or at school e when people feel ill they will talk to a doctor online or at a hospital you can read this again and try to circle the correct option take your time to do the task then come back to check your answers hello again i'll circle the correct options in order to check your answers in 100 years people's lives 
won't be the same as now. Some cities will be under the sea. People will have meetings online. Children will learn at home. When people feel ill, they will talk to a doctor online. Thank you. Activity 5. Read, ask, and answer. Read the text in activity 3 again. Ask and answer questions about it with a partner. You are asked to read this text again. Then try to practice asking and answer questions like this. In 100 years, will people travel in space? Yes, they will. You can ask. In 100 years, will some cities be under the sea? Yes, they will or no, they won't. So you can practice asking and answering questions about the text with your partner. By this we've achieved the aims of this lesson. Thank you for following me. Goodbye.